Uh, we have with us Mr. Ganesh here. So welcome sir to the Cricket India Academy Inter School Under 13 Monsoon Cup. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure being here. Uh, sir, what do you feel about the Inter School Under 13 Monsoon Cup? Well, it's a novel change. Uh, it's putting people, I haven't seen this for the first time to be very honest. And when I look at a game around, I feel yes, initiation into the game, into the longer versions tomorrow. And good commentary. At the end of the day, when I look back, I say yes, Guys are coming back to play, they play for interest of the game and they started to be groomed and I must thank Cricket India Academy for having grooming players for the future. Uh, so you have been to sports arena from the last 30 years and, uh, and the Cricket India Academy has uh, invented a new concept of promoting the sports at the age level of under 13. So what do you feel how it can develop the sports? Well, uh, let's be honest, uh, sport is for the children. So if you look at it, uh, Cricket India is Cricket uh, India is doing is to ensure that the concept of a child playing a game becomes paramount important, which is very critical for a child's growth. In a year of era of gadgets and so many side things available, available there, it becomes so difficult for people to focus on sport, and uh, sport was never a money-making machine. Sport was never a money-making machine in the past. Today it's a profession, it's a career which is available, not just for the organizers, it's also for the players. So looking at that, it's a great initiative. I'm sure uh, it is bound to grow in years to come and would be responsible for generating a generation of sportsmen who make a lot of difference to India in the long run. Uh, so as you said, to be successful in a such a competitive world, so it's really important to have a good training about it. And it is uh, at the training only. The Cricket India Academy has a has a coaching program which is taken from the Cricket Australia. So, how do you feel it really can uh, develop the sports? Yes, when you look at uh, development of sports, you have to run it along with coaching. But at a level where you start with enthusiasm, you take a child at the age of 10, 12, put him, make him interested in the sport, enthuse him. Bring him into a model coaching camp procedures, which you are adopting Cricket Australia, uh, which is fair enough. Uh, probably the most recognized one in the world today. But uh, adapting it to Indian conditions could make these players grow into a better player for tomorrow. And they are prepared. When look at uh, the BCCI, for instance, uh, follows the Australian model and puts in the play senior players to a similar regime. So having the children getting up from the younger age to into the same regime will help them to become easier, better cricketers or sportsmen in times to come. Uh, so how do you feel uh, that being in India, India is not so much popular for the sports and especially the cricket is the only game which is very so much popular. So, so how do you feel that uh, where Cricket India Academy can stand and mark their uh, edge over the other academies? Let's be honest, if you look at the 60s, hockey, we were world champions. Football, we were number three in the world. Cricket was nowhere in the picture. You must give it to the great sports administrators who thought about cricket. None of them had played cricket till that time, the board presidents and the club presidents. Are, but they had passion for the game and they've invested so much into it that today it's a religion in India, it's not, no longer a sport. For the other sport to back up, the administrators have to back up and buck up, is my feeling. And institutions like these academies, the people who are promoting sports, would go a long way to push sports ahead. I would personally like to see the Indian football team probably in the World Cup, Indian hockey team in the World Cup, not playing the qualifiers. I mean, this is something that disturbs me. Probably I'm from the old school of thought. But then, when success happens, and which cricket today is the most successful game, and well marketed, the crowd gets drawn in there. So needs to do the IBL and things like that which have come in will surely make an impact in times to come, I'm sure about it. And sir, your thoughts about the current match? It's a great game, fielding champion side, I thought lost because of the fielding. I see two girl members playing in the other school. And I think there's a great contribution by the women in the, uh, for the Kandivili school. And they've done well, it's a good game. Fielding a little poor in the later stages, probably pressure. Otherwise, I saw some good talent really emerging. And I was speaking to the coaches and said, we must come to the regular academies to ensure that these players continue their cricket. 
and sir uh, usually you find the males taking up the cricket sport in india so how do you how we can uh, promote sports in the women's uh, here in I, I i may not agree with you on this women's cricket in india is long long history you look at i i remember players like dana idol ji shanta ranga swami behar zajul ji players who could have walked into the indian team in the 70s and mind you indian team of the 70s were a champion batting side and a bowling side you look at it today there is a very systematic they were in a different uh, association today they are part of the bcci and bcci has regulated and bring brought them into line with a series of tournaments i did my inter or uh, uh, limited overs international debut for icc with in a east india west indies women's match and i can tell you the quality of the game was at par if not little about the indians the men's so there's a great talent up grooming you look at mumbai cricket association has camps running from age group of 14 to 16 to 20 to the ab- above ones we uh, reached the finals twice uh, last year we won the junior championship the mumbai team the railways have been a strong force we have beaten them in the past but they continue to remain the only source of employment so they get pick up the best players but women cricket in india i can assure you is on the upswing probably you don't see the spectator interest today but i look at it in another 3 years time to become a dominating sport for women in india because with due respect things like hockey and you know, etc are not doing as good as these women cricketers are doing we are among the top 3 in the world not well publicized but i'm sure in days to come we should look well uh, thank you so much for sharing your thought with us thank you, thank you. Yeah.